occasionally when you're reading a book, you stumble upon a line or a paragraph that you really resonate with. One that plays through your head throughout the day that you always go back to and reflect on. Now, recently I finished Eckhart Tolle's book, A New Earth, this one here, which I think is pretty good. And there was one line that I had to share for this video because it really highlights the stuff we're going to be talking about. So I quote, the great arises out of small things that are honored and cared for. Everybody's life really consists of small things. Greatness is a mental abstraction in the favorite fantasy of the ego. The paradox is that the foundation for greatness is honoring the small things of the present moment instead of pursuing the idea of greatness. Now, what does that mean? I'm sure we've all heard about it before. Practice makes perfect. Malcolm Gladwell talks about how you require or you need 10,000 hours of consistent practice, of consistent effort to become a master of your craft. This is the accepted amount by many experts, but many people believe you need more than 10,000 hours. You heard of the Book of Mastery. Success is not a linear path. It has ups and downs. It's got these weird trials and tribulations that you have to go through. That's why it takes time, because it's not linear. You don't just grow at the same rate. It always changes. But what people don't understand about success is that it's not just an event. It's a process. It doesn't just happen. And this is partly because of the media and how the media manipulates people into thinking, you know, shit just happens to lucky people, a set few people. Things just magically happen, which is a great falsehood. It's a fallacy. Things don't just happen. There's always the background events that precede them that you don't usually see, right? Think of when they're building a skyscraper like the one in Dubai. You don't see them building it up. You just hear about the news about when it's finished. They say the tallest skyscraper in the world has just been built. Boom, look at that, it just came out of nowhere. Nah, but you didn't see the previous four years of consistent effort that was required or the five years or whatever long it took. Just like someone in the gym, when you see them looking big and juicy and swole, you're like, oh, they probably just were born like that or they hit the gym for one year. But no, they started when they were 11. It always takes some extended amount of time to really be a master of what you do. I'd like to share with you guys a story of me. I used to be a skateboarder, right? I skated for five years. And when I started off, it was actually pretty difficult. It took me six weeks to learn the initial, most basic fundamental skateboarding move, which is cold and ollie, which is kind of like this, bam! You pretty much have the board going to the air with you, it's just like a jump. It took another six weeks to learn how to pop shove it, another maybe 10 weeks to learn how to kick flip. It just took a long time to get the fundamental baseline set up. But once you have the foundation, you could build on those tricks and do some more complicated tricks, varial heel flip, tray flip, 360, switch 360 flip, etc. You just kept going on and going on. But it was through consistent effort. I used to skateboard every single day for hours. And I did that for five years. And after five years, I still wasn't great. I was decent, but I wasn't great. That's the same with anything else in life. I'm sure if you played guitar for an extended amount of years, you know about this, you know about your friends that try to learn how to play guitar and they think they can get it in three weeks or four weeks through watching a few YouTube videos. It doesn't happen that way. You have to honor the process. You have to enjoy the daily grind. Forget about the end outcome. It will happen if you honor the daily grind. The daily grind is what's important. It's what really matters. It's all that you have control over. Focus on your circle of influence. Some things, of course, you won't have control over, but the things you can do is what you need to focus on. It's kind of like how people always say things like, how do you eat an elephant? Or something like that. How do you eat a whale? One bite at a time. The journey of 100 miles, or was it 1,000 miles, starts with a single step. We hear it over and over again, but how many of us actually have it embedded in our heads? How many of us actually adhere to the philosophies? Not many. You need to know this stuff and to buy in if you want to be great. Enjoy the process and you will inevitably reach 
the end outcome. Hope you guys enjoyed that video and be great.